Hi everyone, Mr. Lowe here. Um, this video will take us through the final portfolio. Um, this is technically part two of the assignment, so that's where it will be listed. Um, but there's not really a part two that you need to create or do something different with. Um, so the basics of the portfolio. This is what you would normally get in Digital Photo 1 or 2. Um, we would do a portfolio, you'd post it to your website, and that's that's how we turn it in. Um, for this, you can put it on your website if you'd like, if you're comfortable with that. Um, if you're not, then you can create it in Google Slides or in PowerPoint and send me or share that slideshow. Um, either way is acceptable. Um, the big thing I want to stress here though, is that number one, ideally you include for digital photo one, um, like a rule of thirds photo and a simple photo and a lines and a rhythm and a balance and a natural framing and a point of view. Um, and you label them. So I'm not trying to guess which one you think is natural framing. Um, but if you don't have access to those, don't worry about it. Um, you can take new photos if you want. I'll give you the instructions kind of the way I give them in a normal school year. And that is when you hit this time in your portfolio, the idea is to put the best work forward, um, to put your best images forward. You may have some great photos that you took earlier in the semester, like rule of thirds lines that you really like that show those and they're great pictures. That's great. Go ahead and use them. Um, some people are like, yeah, I was doing that for class. I wasn't, you know, I have a better understanding of what rule of thirds is now. Um, I'm going to use this other picture for rule of thirds. Okay. So you can take new photos if you want. You can use your old photos if you want. Um, they don't have to be from the category that you used it before. So an example of that would be. A lot of times people with, I'll say like rule of thirds, it might also be a simple photo. Well, when they get to putting together their portfolio, they might decide that, hey, I like two of my rule of thirds photos better than any of my simple photos. And one of them could also work as a simple photo. So I'm going to put that one in as a simple photo. And that's fine. Um, The other thing is that I ask that you don't use a photo more than once. So don't just take one photo that you have and say, oh, this works as simple, this works as rule of thirds, and it works as point of view, and put it for all three categories. So you do have to have different photos for each one. Um, but again, it doesn't matter if you're taking them fresh now, if they're photos that you had from earlier in the semester. Um, remember, my only guideline requirement is that it's a photo that you take. So it could be maybe you took pictures last year, you know, summer break or last winter break, maybe you went somewhere and took some pictures and you're flipping back through those and you see one and you're like, oh, this could count as rhythm and you put it in. That's fine. Um, the two portrait photos can be from any of the portrait assignments that we did. The three to six free choice photos. Sometimes maybe you have that like cool sunset photo that you took and you're not sure what category it goes in. So you could put that in as free choice. Um, or maybe you had like three point of view photos that you thought were really good. And so you put one for point of view and you put the other two in free choice. That's kind of up to you. Um, so ultimately in the end here, you're looking for 12 to 15 photos plus the artist statement. So I'll talk about the artist statement real quick here. It is just an introduction of yourself and how you connect with photography. Um, I'm going to open up this document here that is a part of the assignment. So you can click on it in Canvas and get to it. But you can see it's just three or four sentences minimum, 
two paragraphs max. You don't want to write a whole bunch. Just introduce yourself, um, kind of maybe what motivates you to take pictures or what types of pictures do you like to take. Um, some people really like nature, like outdoor photos. Other people really like taking photos of their friends and of events that are going on, things like that. Um, there's some sentence starters in here that you can use. So again, do like a quick introduction. Um, my name's John and I'm a student at Everett High School. Um, and then maybe like photography can be, and then say what photography can be to you or what it means to you. Um, and then I put four examples in here. You do not need to do all your examples as long as this. Um, some of these are towards the long end. Others are a little bit shorter. Yours can actually be, um, you know, like I said, three to four sentences. So it might be something like this. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm a freshman ever. Hi, I've wanted to be a photographer since I was 10 years old. My favorite things to take pictures are of nature. Everything's so beautiful and unique. I also love to take macro photos. That could be fine. That would have met the requirements. She added another sentence or two and that's fine. But don't get super hung up on the artist statement. Just a quick introduction and what photography means to you or what you like about photography. Okay, let's look. Oh, one last thing is that when you get done, um, if you do it on your website, make sure you email me the link to your site. Okay, um, you can post it in Canvas. You can email it to me. That's fine. If you do it some other way, um, like in Google Slides or PowerPoint, if you want to share it with me, that's fine. If you want to email it to me, that's fine. Um, if you want to upload it to Canvas, that's fine. Get it to me however you can, however you need to, to get this to me. Okay. And again, this is due next week. It's due next Monday. Um, so try to get it done by then. Um, especially if you're a senior because senior grades we need to do by the 8th. So make sure you get it to me. Um, preferably over this weekend if you're a senior. All right. So a couple examples here. Um, I don't have a PDF example um, or a, a PowerPoint or Google Slides example. But here's an example um, from like a year or two ago, I'm going to open it up. Um, you can see it's labeled free choice. And there's their picture. Another free choice. Another free choice. So I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'll go through a few. So this particular year, you had five free choice. So you could see they labeled free choice one through five. And then um, this was a Photoshop creation. That is not a requirement for your assignment. Um, but here's like his balance photo. Um, you do not need to tell me how it's balanced or why it's balanced. Here's natural framing photo. Here is one of his portraits. Okay, I'm gonna jump over to the other one and show. Um, again, this is from a couple years ago. Um, there's the free choice photo. There's lines. There's point of view. There's a portrait free choice. There's a rule of thirds because the spider web, the focal point of the picture over here at the intersecting rule of third part. Another free choice. Um, here's rhythm, the repeating. Here's balance. If you split it down the middle, the two sides match up. 
simplicity. Okay, so there's a couple examples for you, of kind of what it would look like um, on a website. Again, if you're putting it into Google Slides or PowerPoint, that is great. No problem with that. Um, I found one of the harder things for me to do from a distance right now is to troubleshoot issues people are having with their websites when people have contacted me. Some we've been able to figure out, some you know we haven't. So I don't want you to get hung up on the on the website part. Um, and you can put it, like I said, um, into Google Slides or PowerPoint and send it to me that way. Um, and again, you can send it to me through email or you can upload it to Canvas. Okay, hope this answers your questions. Um, please send me an email. Let me know if you have any questions with this. Um, and I'm looking forward to, I think one of them's already been turned in, but I'm looking forward to seeing some of your portfolios. Thanks.